All right, today we bringing her out. And you might be asking yourself, who is her? Well, let me go get her. Right when I decide I want to bring the Trek Marlin 6 out, it starts to pour down rain. The next day. All right, guys, we made it out here to Mount Falcon. I'm at the west side trailhead, which is all the way at the top. I actually came out here yesterday also, but it started raining and I didn't get the ride yesterday. So we're back today and we brought out the Trek Marlin 6. And I want to see how this bike feels after riding my Trek Roscoe 9 for the past few weeks. And I want to know if you guys think I should keep this bike or if I should sell it. But if you guys want to see more of this content and you want to see this bike reach its potential, let me know. But if you want me to get rid of it, let me know also. But you guys have really been killing it with the likes and I really appreciate it. So last night I was thinking, I said, what can I give you guys? for killing it with the likes, so I thought of something. So from now on, for every 300 likes we get before the next video is published, I'll do some sort of backflip. I might do one, I might do two, I might do five, so you just never know. But with all that being said, let's jump on the track mile six and hit the trails. All right, guys, we headed down Parmalee. Oh yeah, shout out to Neil for letting me know that you can tape the Trek Marlin 6 rims. So shout out to him for that. And that's why I'm really considering keeping this bike now. But let me know, do you guys think I should keep it? Do you want to see more of this content? Because I love the Trek Marlin 6 and it would be sick to be able to go tubeless on this thing. Right, I'm taking Parmalee Trail right now. I'm hoping that it's not too wet. But we should be fine. I gotta be honest though, I don't want to jump to any conclusions, but it feels like this Trek Marlin 6, the gears shift smoother than my Roscoe 9. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but it definitely feels like it. I'm not even gonna lie. Ooh, okay. All right, guys, I think we might have to scratch Parmalee because I think this is a downhill trail and I don't have a dropper pole, so I don't want to go too far down and got to climb back up <laughs> without a dropper pole, so that would suck. So I think we're going to go back up, but hopefully we'll have a dropper pole on this thing here soon. That's if you guys decide you want me to keep the Marlin. Guys, I'm seriously not joking, though, <laughs> about these gears switching super clean let me go up i'm gonna show you guys how these gears switch now i know these gears might not shift the best but for the price you pay for this bike i think that's some pretty good shifting and the fact that I can tell a difference after being on my, rec my Trek Roscoe 9, I think that says a lot. But I do think it's that shifter. I, I need to get rid of that SLX shifter. I can't remember the guy's name in the comments, but he was telling me to switch to an XT shifter, which is what I'll probably try to do. All right, we're heading up the trail right now, but it just wouldn't be right if I didn't show you guys these views. It's not always about just the ride, it's about the views too, guys. All right, guys, so far this bike is riding amazing. I love my Trek Roscoe 9, but I still love riding the Trek Marlin 6. It's just so easy to ride, and that's why I recommend a lot of beginners start off with this kind of bike because it's so easy to just get on it, ride it. The simplicity of it makes riding just that more fun. Oh yeah, and a lot of you guys thought <laughs> my chain was rusted on my Marlin. My chain wasn't rusted. 
I just didn't oil it. So I finally put oil on it a few days ago and now it's looking great. So no, the chain is not rusted. <laughs> yeah, some people thought my chain was rusted, which I don't blame them, it was super dirty. I just didn't really uh, oil my chain after the few rides I did and a lot of dirt built up. So yeah, it was just real dirty. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay, Marla. Oh, can we keep can we keep going up there? Oh, we still got it. But I'm gonna go around. <laughs> Alright, this section right here is tough. It's steep with a lot of rocks. But I think the truck Marlin 6 can handle it. Let's do it. I'm telling you guys, don't underestimate these bikes. Just because it's budget, don't mean it ain't no beast. All right, we headed downhill now to see how this thing can handle it. Oh, I gotta go back. That was terrible. All right, let's go into this thing with some purpose this time. Come on. There we go. Marlin ain't scared. The Marlin can handle it, but it's definitely a lot louder than the Rosto 9. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, they had a biking class back there i think that was pretty cool yeah the marlin is definitely up to the test but i want to know what you guys think is it worth keeping i think the hardest thing with this bike would be trying to find a fork for it can i do it willy yeah we can okay. <laughs> can't lose focus guys the dog tried to kill me and i kept the wheel up <laughs> that's funny all right guys as always the trek marlin 6 killed it on the trail i really want to know what you guys think if i should keep this bike or sell it and use the money towards upgrades to the other bikes if we hit 300 likes before the next video every time I'll do some sort of backflip. Make sure you hit that like button so you can see what I'm up to next. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And the people looking at me like I'm weird.